Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And I sure hope you ladies have your gentlemen with you today because they're going to come in handy. <laughs> I'm Menopause Barbie, and you know that normally I give you tutorials on menopause, your management, your way. But today, we're not going to talk about menopause as you know it. Instead, we're going to talk about andropause. You know, male menopause. You see, you guys think you have it so easy, and you think you just don't have to deal with any of this menopause stuff. But that's not true. You have your own version of menopause, and we call it andropause. Now, normally I defer this until the very end of the series, but you know, I don't want the guys to get big heads thinking that they get off scot-free. Does anyone know where the term scot-free came from? <laughs> well, you know, it's S-C-O-T. It's not capital S-C-O-T-T -T, like the name. It's an Irish term that means without incurring payment. So, you guys don't get off scot-free. In other words, you don't get a free ride. You have to pay your hormonal dues also. And since we haven't talked about testosterone for a while, I was just kind of in the mood to talk about it today. So, both you ladies and you men should watch this one. Remember, my goal is to make everything easier for you, for both of you. And nothing's easier if you and your partner have no idea what the other one is going through. Believe me, if you learn what I have to teach you, it will improve all your relationships. So the material for this tutorial is in the very last chapter of my book on pages 441 to 443. And it's in the outline notes on page 94. There you have it for your bearings. Now, maybe you've never considered a male menopause. If that's the case, you might be a little shocked right now. Of course, men don't have the same kind of menopause as women, but they have their own version of it. So let's talk about it. First, we're going to compare female menopause with male menopause. Do you remember way back in tutorial number six, when I taught you that puberty begins the reproductive phase of your life? So, you can kind of think of puberty as your on switch. Puberty turns on your reproductive life. And in that same tutorial, I taught you that menopause is puberty in reverse. So, menopause is the transition from your reproductive phase of life to your non-reproductive phase of life. So, you can think of menopause as the off switch. It's really that simple if you want to think about it that way. So, how does that compare with ha what happens to men? Well, obviously men go through puberty, so that's their on switch. But the difference is that males don't perform the tasks of pregnancy and childbearing. All they do is deposit sperm, and they can do that for the rest of their lives. So, while guys have that on switch at the time of puberty, they don't have an off switch. This says always on. They don't have an off switch. So the reproductive phase of a man's life is indefinite. That means that guys continue to produce sperm their entire adult lives. That means they can father children at any age. And that's why there's no distinct transition for them like there is for females. You see, this all should make sense. But still, men experience some of the same changes of aging and declining sex hormones that women experience. The difference is that it's much more gradual for men. Here is a graph that shows declining hormones with age. Do you see how this pink line, which represents estrogen, shows estrogen suddenly plummeting at about the age of 50. Look at this, like that. It just plunges all the way down suddenly. Compare that 
to what happens with men. You see the blue line? In guys, the decline in testosterone is slow. Look at this. It's just gradual, so gradual. So that's why women have that long list of 22 symptoms of menopause. And all those symptoms are a response to that sudden, rapid decline of female hormones that you just saw in that graph. And that's why men don't have a bunch of sudden, awful symptoms of andropause. So instead of noticing multiple psychological, emotional, physiological, and physical and aging changes all at once, men notice them, or maybe they fail to notice them, <laughs> little by little over the course of their lives after age 40. So I like to analyze male andropause by dividing it into three different phases. The first phase is the hormone loss that you just saw in the graph. The second is the emotional and psychological effects of that hormone lost, loss. And the third is actual aging. So let's start with the hormone loss. Now, you know that the male hormone is testosterone and testosterone is called an androgen. So that's why we call it andropause. We call those declining levels of testosterone andropause. So here's what happens to testosterone levels over the course of a man's adult life. You can see here that testosterone peaks at the age of 18. But yeah, you already knew that, didn't you? That's why 18-year-old boys are so dangerous. <laughs> but you also see that it's downhill from there. 18, that's the highest. At 18, a guy thinks about sex all the time. He can't even control his erections. And he has super forceful ejaculations that can shoot sperm a long way. It's penis squirt gun. You see, that's why there are these penis squirt guns like this, because the forceful ejaculations and the very idea to make a squirt gun are because of those high testosterone levels. But at about the age of 40, the cells in a guy's testicles that secrete testosterone begin to get lazy, just like the cells in our ovaries that secrete estrogen. And those cells that used to secrete estrogen or testosterone are replaced by scar tissue, whether you're male or female. So that's when the secretion of, a tes of testosterone starts decreasing. And the, the rate of decrease of testosterone for a male is a, a rate of about 1% per year. So what's the result? By middle age, a guy thinks about sex much less often. often. And his thoughts about sex are much less vivid. They're much less overwhelming. And his erections are a lot easier to control. And that once forceful ejaculation, it can be nothing but a mere dribble. Oh well, where's the dribble? <laughs> there it goes. You know, Suzanne Summers likened the symptoms of menopause to the seven dwarfs. But when you think about it, there are 22 dwarfs for the symptoms of female menopause. And you know what? The seven dwarfs for men, hmm, I'll bet you we can come up with some dwarf names for the symptoms of andropause. Let's take a shot at that. Let's see, in the case of men, what happens to their erections is that they go from very firm and rigid to soft, flimsy. We can call them softy and flimsy, or maybe we should call them pity. <laughs> In other words, the penis goes from stiff, stiffy, to iffy. Ha! So stiff and iffy, those are good dwarf names. And those ejaculations that used to be so forceful, we could call those 
buttery. Now, there's no scientific data to support it, but you know, I'm convinced that it's these things that happen to a guy's penis that make him wake up and take, take notice. I mean, until something affects his penis, a guy pays no attention at all, right? That's why his penis is right there where he can see it. You know, if a guy had to look for his penis, he wouldn't even know he had it. <laughs> but it's right there. And when it starts acting up, or I guess actually stops acting up, the guy takes notice. And get this, a guy's penis and testicles actually start shrinking. You know what happens when a guy gets into a really cold pool of water? Everything shrinks, right? Well, that's kind of what happens as he ages, and that really gets his attention. Not, not suddenly, but it happens slowly over time. And a man notices everything that takes place in his crotch. That's why the male erectile drugs like Viagra and Cialis, that's why these are all so popular. They're really expensive, but boy, do they sell, and that's why. So when a, when a guy's penis starts getting lazy, he opens his eyes and he notices what's going on around him. And that's when the second phase of andropause symptoms kick in. These are the emotional and psychological effects. And we even have a name for these emotional and, and psychological effects. We call them the male midlife crisis. A male midlife, cri midlife crisis goes something like this. The guy looks down and says, oh my God, my joystick isn't as joyful as it was. Maybe I'm not as virile. <laughs> so what does he do? <laughs> he buys a Corvette or some other sports car. That dwarf name could be sporty. He starts scouting for a younger woman, scouty, and he dumps his age appropriate wife. That's dumpy. And then he starts a second family. That dwarf we can call Poppy. <laughs> And then even with all that, he sometimes starts to reflect on all that he hasn't accomplished. That would be flunky. <laughs> and the realization bruises his ego. So he starts to doubt himself. Let's see, that would be doubty. And if he's lucky, he'll be over this phase before he starts to see signs of the third phase, which is just plain old aging, just like it is for us. Now, this aging stuff is pretty similar for men and women. Much of what we women experience under the heading menopause is also parts of aging. For example, we have insomnia. You know, we usually have insomnia because of night sweats, so, you know, there's a dwarf named Sleepy, right? Well, we can use that same name. For men, inability to sleep isn't because of night sweats. It's due to snoring. <laughs> we call that one snorry. <laughs> and women have mood swings, irritability, and depression. But so do men. So you call that moody or teary or feisty or cranky or whiny or touchy or whatever you want. In either case, things that never bothered the guy before start to seem like a big deal. See, a guy thinks all the friction is just because of the woman, but it's really because of him, too. Oh, and women have breast pain, but guys start growing breasts at middle age, don't they? We can call that one booby. Well, we both get joint pain, men and women, right? Well, that's achy or rusty or creaky, and then there's that awful dry skin that leads, leads to wrinkling, wrinkly, creasy, whatever. That's the case for women and men, right? And we all lose hair. That's baldy. Oh, but there's also unwanted hair growth. And that is different for the two genders. We women get whiskers. So that dwarf could be whiskey, but men, they get those bushy eyebrows, and that hair in their nose, and the hair in their ears. We can call them bushy or browsy. And hey, whether you're male or female, you leak urine. But there's a different reason for it. 
whether it's we call it leaky or drippy <laughs> women would probably be leaky because we leak urine when we don't want to and men they drip, dribble urine and drip urine after they have finally urinated <laughs> oh and then there's the weight gain okay now that one's gonna be flabby blimpy fatty pudgy I don't care take your pick <laughs> but to go with male weight gain guys lose their muscle mass also and they become weaker you know guys they go from this to this and even to this huh. so you see you guys just don't actually have immunity to all this after all you know your pace and details are just a bit different but you still have to deal with it so there you aren't so lucky after all and don't forget if a guy's shiny new younger wife sees him going through all these changes she might dump him for our new model too you see then he'd be dumpy <laughs> the bottom line is that we all deal with hormonal changes as we age and the key is to try to be empathetic and sympathetic about them whether you're male or female and you guys if you're watching this remember this isn't something you can fix it's not something you can fix for yourself or for your partner but if you keep watching these videos some of the management options I present for the ladies might work for you too you know not all the vaginal stuff but but you know what I mean okay so that's it for today both ladies and gentlemen follow me come see me in a week I'm on Facebook Twitter Instagram all over the place watch this again if you need to and I'll see you in a week <laughs> bye